Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the commuter sling bag from Vertex. This is a great EDC bag that's really low profile. This bag doesn't scream tactical and it has a lot of creative features. Let's get into some of the details. All right, the outside of the bag is made from 220-310 Cordura. And it gives you kind of a checkered pattern if you look closely at the bag. It's a great weave, very durable, very stain resistant. I like the pattern on it, it's very cool. It slings over your left shoulder and the strap goes across your chest. It also has an anti-rotational buckle on it. This goes around your waist and up into the sling. This is a great way to keep the bag from sliding or sloshing around. It holds it really secure. I did some running with it and some drills and the bag didn't move at all. Uh, while I was performing those functions. It just stayed right where it was and uh, didn't move around. The back panel that goes against your back is padded and uh, provides some ventilation which was nice because I was using this on a very hot day so your back doesn't get extremely sweaty. Also it has a slot here if you wanted to slide this over a luggage carrier or as you'll see as we get into the review you can actually use this bag as a shield like if you're Captain America. Starting with the, the smallest pouch on the bag, uh, this pouch is kind of a tearaway pouch. You can pull on this tab and there's zippers on both sides and the pouch simply pulls down. After you expose this pouch, there's molly inside and hook and loop. So you could put mag carriers, which I did, um, uh, your patches, your morale patches on here, it would hold it. If you want to get rid of this flap and just run exposed, you can do that. And I'll show you how. There's a Velcro part right here. I'm just going to pull that up and you can tuck your pouch in there and then just simply press it down and it'll seal down and now this molly is exposed. If you don't want to run this way with your patches on the outside, it makes you look kind of tactical and maybe you don't want to come off that way or maybe you're just trying to keep a low profile, you can simply pull that Velcro back off Take the external pouch and re-zip it up on both sides. Pretty nifty. Also, on the back part of this uh, backpack, they have a kind of rubber handle that allows you to get a good grip and you can carry it this way. Folds down pretty flat so it's not getting snagged on stuff, which is nice. With the flap that you pull away, it has G-hooks here. So if you wanted to attach this onto your molly you could and then you have a little bit more space in your pack you could stick a helmet in here uh, you know water bottles or like a rolled up blanket or something like that and these G hooks simply go into the molly and uh, gives you a little bit more space out of this pouch the main strap on this bag was really easy to get in and out of. It has a large buckle down here, large clip that's covered with a type of spandex so you don't accidentally engage it and unbuckle it or get grime into it. But if you wanted to get it off, you simply pinch the two tabs, pops right off, and you're out of the bag. The strap also has some molly on it so you can attach other things, carabiners, uh, lights, things like that you might want on your strap that you might want easy access to, you can do that on the strap. It's very comfortable as well, it's padded. Let's move on to the larger compartments in the bag. These compartments don't zip the whole way open and there's a good reason for that. They zip half of the way open. This way, when you have the bag slung and rotate it to use it, your stuff's not going to fall all out of it. Basically just zipper and you can access everything inside. The next size compartment has a high-vis pull tab zipper in here so you can stick stuff in there with a high-vis lanyard, put keys on that, whatever else you might want to put on it. Has some loop in here in case you want to velcro anything in. Some admin slots for pens and pencils and maybe a small notepad. As we move back, the pouches get bigger. This next section would hold your laptop. It would hold a fairly large laptop. It has a buckle here that can harness your laptop into place so it's not bouncing around inside the bag. The inside of the bag has more loop if you want to Velcro, but it's also just nice and soft. That's great to put against a laptop. 
you'll see two compartments here if you wanted to put spare batteries, cords, uh, a mouse for your laptop. Finally is the defensive compartment. This is the biggest compartment on the bag. It has an EDC pull tab which is large, lets you get a good grip on it, pull it open, reach in, grab that handgun and take care of business. This compartment is covered in loop so you can velcro magazines in here, handguns, uh, lights, knives, whatever you want. There's a lot of space to work with here. Last but not least, in this section right here, the biggest compartment of the bag, you'll feel two semi-rigid panels. These panels can be taken out and replaced with a ballistic option. This way you can use this bag as kind of a bulletproof shield. Like I was explaining with the luggage carrier slot on the back here, you can literally stick your arm through here and you have the ability to have some protection from rounds. Now, if you put two ballistic shields in and replace both panels, you could also wear the bag like this. And as you can see, this takes up a good bit of space. Most ballistic panels that are going to go in here are only going to defend up to 44 Magnum, all handgun rounds. But still, it's better than nothing, and it's an option, which is great. All right, there you go, guys, the commuter sling bag from Vertex. Good news for you guys is we are going to be giving this bag away when we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. This will only be one of the items, but this will be a sneak peek, so to speak, at what we will be giving away. As you saw from this video, this is a great bag. It's very versatile and you can use it in a lot of different areas of your life, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to the range, uh, whether you're going to the gym, you name it. This bag fills a lot of roles. It doesn't scream tactical and uh, it's very well made. The commuter sling bag from Vertex. Thank you for watching this episode. I appreciate it, guys. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and go visit us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you on the next one.